Today we're reviewing the uh, built to spec enclosure for the Raspberry Pi. One thing that you'll notice about this version is it is 100% uh, translucent. You can't buy these right now, at least. This is the first one of its kind. Um, I had it done uh, through a special request and it came out absolutely awesome. A few key features about this case is that it's pretty much rock solid. The design on it is absolutely perfect. If it's got slots for all of your ports, so you've got HDMI there. You've got your power and your SD card, of course. You've got your composite video out. You've got your audio out. You've got your expansion port. And then on this end, of course, you've got your uh, Ethernet and uh, USB ports that come out. Now, the really, really key feature, or at least unique feature to this case, is you've got a top here that's, you know, 100% solid. However, you also have a second layer that's right below that. And if I put it at an angle, you can actually see the cutouts uh, that built to spec made. So that way, in case you need to actually access any of these ports, like these two ports are very similar to laptop ports where you'd hook up, you know, your touchpad, keyboard, anything of that sort. I think I've seen a few people already hooking up uh, small LCD screens to them using those ports, um, as well as the, uh, the pin headers here. Let me get that in closer. And then also your expansion port here. So if needed, you could take off this top piece modify it the way that you need it and uh, you know to get either a cable through you know a switch anything like that through the actual case and uh, you know have it set up to that way it works without having to completely hack it apart so he was definitely thinking ahead when it came to that um, another unique feature which I have not seen on any of the other Raspberry Pi cases and this is why I chose to go with a uh, built to spec dot com uh, unit is the uh, pipes, uh, as you can call them, for all of the signals. You know how on any standard motherboard, laptop, or desktop, you've got uh, signals for, you know, power, charging, uh, hard drive activity, uh, network activity. Well, those are all on the motherboard, you know, on the Raspberry Pi, and they're all built there. Well, what Built to Spec did is, on his cases, standard color is just a... Uh, a gloss black plastic so you can't see through it through here but this will actually be a good example if you decide to go with one of the black ones or one of the other uh, colors that he's going to be offering soon you've got your little etchings right here let me see if I can get it closer all well, here you can see the etchings for you know uh, what do we got okay power link um, FDX 10 meg so you get your you know power network and everything that sort he actually made small pieces of plastic which um, are translucent and you know not only just this case but the uh, the black case as well which take the light shoot it up through almost like fiber optics and shoot it up to go out to the side so you can actually see what's going on and a lot of the other cases that I've seen do not have this feature so you're kind of in the dark um, you know unless you have a tr clear translucent case you're completely in the dark in case you're having any boot up issues with these things. So you kind of got to think ahead and think in time, you know, who knows? If I have to diagnose why this thing isn't booting up, the lights are going to help, and I don't want to have to take, a, you know, the case apart to complete it, completely to see why. So he definitely thought about that in advance. Um, you can, of course, see his uh, logo here. Let's see if we can get that in. Uh, the website is built2spec.com. It's B-U-I-T, uh, B-U-I-L-T, um, dash two, dash spec, S-P-E-C, dot com. And uh, that is where you can get one of these guys. He doesn't charge, um, you know, an obscene amount whatsoever for these boxes. I'm not sure exactly, you know, what they're going to be by the time you watch this video, so I won't quote any prices or anything of that sort. But... It's about the same price as every other case that's on the market right now, but it is such a good design. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Um, all laser cut. It's not made overseas. It's made here in, in the U.S. 
and uh, that way shipping is like super quick. It took like two days for this to get to me. Um, and that's pretty much it, but definitely a well thought out design. And uh, if I get my hands on, uh, you know, an additional Raspberry Pi, which is the plan at least for uh, uh, Media Center setup once XBMC is perfected and things of that sort, then I'll definitely be purchasing more cases, possibly some other colors, because I've uh, spoken to uh, the owner of built to spec and he said that he's talking with some suppliers right now, uh, plastic suppliers, of course, to see what uh, you know what he can get his hands on for different colors, uh, solids, opaques, uh, you know, translucent colors. But I am extremely, extremely happy. And uh, if you're looking for a case for your Raspberry Pi, I looked and scoured all over the internet. This is the best one that I could find. And I didn't care if, you know, I was going to spend a little bit more, but the funny thing is, is this was going for either the same price or even less than a lot of the other ones that I found, which didn't have as many features and didn't really look as nice. So I hope this uh, fully, you know, translucent one that I have, uh, which is the first one of its kind, uh, helps you guys out and as far as picking a, a uh, enclosure for yours. And uh, just so you know, too, I, I've ran this for a couple hours, just, uh, you know, kind of just to see how much it would heat up. And the, the board barely produces any heat anyways. So th there's a decent amount of area where uh, hot air can escape just to keep the board cool, like the HDMI port is opened up a bit and things of that sort. So heat is definitely not an issue you have to worry about because I didn't really like the design of some of the open cases. Um, just because, you know, that's an easy way to get dust on the board and things of that sort. Well, this way is pretty sealed. Um, taking it apart, you basically, for the most part, you just have to undo one end of uh, these cables. If you did need to clean it out, uh, you just pop one end off and, you know, you could just shoot it with your uh, air compressor and that's pretty much it. But any questions, uh, you can leave them in the, uh, the comments or you can... Uh, contact builttospec.com and uh, if you want to purchase one of these because if you've got a Raspberry Pi this is the case to get. Alright, hope this helped you out and have a nice day.